So in this video, we're going to take a look at something which was brought to my attention recently by a fellow ADE, um, a fantastic innovative teacher, Lindsay Stuttard. She's, uh, she shared this on Twitter. I thought I'd put something together, I suppose, more for my students to be able to see how this can be used um, and just for something for me to reflect on, really, in terms of how it can be used in the classroom. Um, and that is how we can use Keynote for multi-whiteboard kind of activities that you might be doing with your students. Again, great for online teaching activities, but equally in the classroom, a really, really good way to just quickly generate information from students in terms of what they're thinking, what they're feeling, etc. you know, thoughts, ideas, answers to questions. So we're going to use Keynote for this. Again, great app, to, uh, so versatile in what you can do with it. I've gone into just a, a simple presentation here, um, but I'm not actually going to be using this necessarily as a presentation tool today. I'm going to be using this in a very different um, way. Now, you might have seen before in previous videos, if I tap on this uh, box at the top here, it gives me the option to go to a light table view. Um, what light table view does is basically it shows you all of the slides in your presentation. Really useful if you're presenting something to be able to just have a look at you know the flow of your presentation, etc. Um, but what Lindsay highlighted, which I thought was really, really useful, was the power of being able to create different workspaces for different students. So, for example, if I tap on the plus down the bottom here, I can go to additional slides. Um, I'll talk about these specific ones in a second, but let's imagine we're just going to use a blank slide. I've created a new whiteboard space for a student. And then if I just tap duplicate, I can just copy this as many times as I want and just make all of these different slides for my students in the class. Now, this means that I have this kind of really, really quick view of what all the students are working on at any one time. Now you might be wondering, well, how do the students work on this? It's pretty simple, really. If I tap on the plus at the top here, I can share this deck with all students. Very useful collaboration feature. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this. If you've got managed Apple IDs um, and you're working within a school environment, um, we can just share the link directly to the students. You'll see I've got down the bottom here, share options. I'm going to share this so that anyone with the link can view it and that anybody can make changes. I can add a password as well if I want to, depending on the, the level of work you're putting in there. And then you have a range of options of, of how to share it. Now, if I had, uh, I've got Shobi on here, I've got Teams on here. If I had Google Classroom, I'd be able to share it through Google Classroom as well. And what they're going to do is they're going to get the link, which is going to be a directly access to this slide deck. So when they go on the slide, you might dictate, you know, Tell, tell the students, you know, you're going to be slide number two, such so, so it's going to be slide number three. How you organise that in your classroom is, is absolutely personal down to you. But then the students have a working space. And if I'm in this view, if I'm in this light view, I can then see as the students add to those things live. So really, really simple, easy way. Now, that's the very basic view. We've just got this as white slides. Now, if I take all of these out... I'm going to show one other thing, which I think is a really, really useful um, idea. I'm going to jump back into my slide view. And I'm going to highlight the, the thumbnail over on the left-hand side. And you'll see that I have the option here to edit the master slide. And if I tap on this, these are all the slides that you have option to go into. And you'll see that some of the slides here, I've actually created a bit of a design on here. So these are whiteboards that I could use for students in lots of different ways. For example, this one is, here's a drawing space, but I also want you to, to add a, an audio recording, for example. So I've just highlighted this on the page. This one here, this one came directly from a, a conversation with Lindsay around using this as a space for children to practice their, uh, their letter formation, be it through drawing, be it through animation, etc. However you structure that in your lesson, it's just a template for students to use. That's just an example with the letter P, you might have the whole alphabet. This one here is around design. So um, this, this one might be that I've put some shapes on the page here and I want the students to design something over here using those shapes. This is an example from a, a, a penguin design that, I, that I'd come up with for an early years activity. But again, the students would have the shapes they would be able to create over here. And then I would see this on the slide. And then these are just all blank slides that I haven't, I haven't completed in terms of designs, but you would have all of these as different designs. So let's uh, put it for an example here. I want this one to be maybe something uh, writing. Maybe I want this to be uh, you know, a newspaper. You know, how, how do I want the students to add this? I simply add using the plus, as you do usually. I create some form of template. So it might be that I want there to be a banner along the top here. And I'm just going to change that so it makes a little bit more sense to the learners. So I'll put no fill. 
I'll put a board around it. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Make that border a little bit bigger. So again, this is just you know your usual stuff of of playing around with with design, etc. Um, and I'm just you're really quickly going through this just just to give that idea of what you do over here. I'm, it might be a picture that I want them to add in. Um, and over on this side, there's going to be some a, a place where I want them to do some writing. Um, and then there might be a caption or something down here. So again, you know, I am just very quickly just showing you how easy it is to just kind of design, create, uh, make something that your students should be able to use. Again, let's just format this so that it makes a little bit more sense to the students. Put this in with uh, maybe a different style border. Maybe something like this. And this is going to be a writing space, so I'll just outline this. Again, you get the idea by now. Uh, it's just creating that simple space that they would be able to use. And then that just becomes a, a template. So if I that done now, I'm going to go back into my light table. I'm going to go to the add. I'm going to find that template. There we go. So that now becomes a template for the student to use. And then I just duplicate all of those slides so that each student in the class can have one. And again, just focusing on the simplicity of, you know, student number 12, you know, as long as that student knows that's their place to work on, then that's where they work. Now, what's useful here with slide number one, you could obviously delete this. What I find quite useful is actually put the instructions of what you want them to do on the slide. Because at any point, the students can see everything that's going on. You're seeing it from all of the students in one go. But if on slide one, if I come back out of uh, light table, go to this, here's my instructions. So those students can read through this. Go to, oops, go to your number and complete an article on whatever it might be. There we go. So your instructions are here. Again, more detail. You could have an audio recording, could be a video, etc. All the students, this is what you would look to see. You could see all of them. But from a, from a teacher point of view, being able to see them all develop at the same time, really, really handy. And again, it could be absolutely anything on that template that you use, but it's just a way for you to visually be able to see all the students working at the same time. So really, really quick, easy way to just have your students working on whiteboards.